Uganda's finance minister, Matia Kasaida, presented an 800 billion shillings budget, while his Rwanda and Tanzanian counterparts presented a 281 billion shillings and a 1.3 trillion shillings budget, respectively. Going with this year's industrialization for job creation and shared prosperity East African theme, the Ugandan Treasury provided 1.7 billion shillings in the next financial year for the Youth Livelihood Program to fund over 5,000 youth enterprises and benefiting 61,000 youth. Women were allocated 1.05 billion shillings to support their enterprises. The Ugandan government is also keen on adding 783 megawatts to the national grid over the next two years in an effort to provide cheap energy for manufacturing. The minister says they have allocated 16.4 billion shillings to cater for maintenance of national, districts, urban and community roads. The Tanzanian budget, on the other hand, seeks to increase manufacturing with Tanzanian government lowering corporate tax from 30% to 20% for five years on new investments in pharmaceutical manufacturing and leather processing. Tanzania also hiked its tariff on imported crude palm oil for one year by 25% to boost its domestic production. However, Tanzania lowered its import duty for consumption sugar from 100% to 35% to cover existing consumption gap. Edible oil safety matches iron products, chewing gums, sweets, chocolates, tomato sauce, meat, sausages, biscuits and mineral water taxes were increased. In Rwanda, Finance Minister Dr. Uzel Ndagiji Manas said the government expects to finance 67% of the 2018-2019 budget through domestic resources, 16% through loans and expects 16% to come from grants. In this financial year, Rwanda will prioritize the completion of ongoing projects with domestically financed development projects expenditure set to increase by 7.6 billion shillings from 55 billion shillings in the 2017-2018 financial year, revised budgets to 63.8 billion shillings in 2018-2019.